for uh, uh, snow avalanche uh, that uh, in, it is easy to, uh, to collect data for, uh, uh, for over the mountains and uh, help people that uh, is going to uh, to go over over the mountain for uh, hiking for uh, uh, snow mobiling uh, snow uh, snow showing uh, and ski touring mostly. Is uh, Javalanche. Javalanche is uh, a project with two phases. Uh, one is, uh, uh, as I said, uh, to to collect uh, uh, to collect data uh, with a, a, a crowdsourcing perspective. So uh, collect data from people that uh, are going uh, over the mountains, and, and so collect data in uh, a real time uh, and on the other uh, on the other uh, uh, phase uh, GeoAvalanche is also uh, a data fusion server with uh, uh, an extension that has the capability uh, to manage with uh, uh, GML data uh, about uh, snow and avalanches so uh, it is able to manage with CAMEL. CAMEL is uh, an XML uh, uh, standard developed from the Canadian Avalanche Association for, uh, uh, for the treatment of uh, avalanche data. So this is a, a funny picture about uh, the snow uh, last year in Rome. Uh, one from the Colosseum and one uh, at the Circus Massimum. And uh, yeah, the, the provocation is uh, uh, were they at avalanche risk? <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> but uh, uh, but the, 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 there are some, some uh, key points uh, about uh, this picture. Because uh, during uh, uh, these three days where the city uh, was blocked, uh, the, 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 um, there, there were uh, a lot of people, a lot of people uh, in, in the snow, something uh, playing, something uh, uh, walking uh, over the snow. And those people could be used from authority to collect data, to collect uh, 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 snow depths and snow accumulation. Uh, instead, uh, uh, authority last year had a lot of problems about uh, uh, the communication about uh, about snow. And, and so, uh, one key point is uh, that uh, uh, crowdsourcing tool like Ushahidi is uh, a powerful uh, uh, software for uh, capturing information from the crowds. And this is, uh, and, and that, that could be uh, in, over the mountain for uh, authorities, uh, so uh, like uh, uh, avalanche warning services, could be uh, a great tool to complement uh, forecasting and alerting for those people who are going over the mountain. Uh, and are, uh, are facing with uh, uh, avalanche uh, uh, risk. So uh, the, 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 um, uh, the main the main capabilities about uh, geo avalanche is a crowdsourcing system to collect uh, localized no avalanche information from the crowd from the crowd uh, in a map through a secure approval workflow. So, another key point is that the UCID is able to manage with verification and validation of the information. Uh, 
uh, an authority uh, could, could, could use Ushahidi to collect data from the crowd and then uh, to manage the verification and the validation of those data. Uh, and also uh, is able uh, to, uh, to, to, to put uh, 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 to profile uh, users, so to manage with uh, um, uh, professional users uh, instead of uh, uh, normal users. And uh, uh, for, for example, UShady uh, is able to automatically, uh, automatically uh, verify and validate uh, those data coming from uh, a professional user um, rather than a normal user. So automatically uh, validate and uh, push those data from, from professional user uh, into the map and instead uh, having a, a, a a validation and verification mechanism for the, the other users, the, no, the normal users. So the, the, there are uh, uh, some, some concepts behind uh, the, the, the scene. Uh, mountaineers uh, are the first responders on the ground because, uh, uh, I mean, uh, Professional uh, groups like mountain guides, uh, uh, rescue, uh, rescue uh, professionals are every day in the snow, in the ter in the snow terrain. So they 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 can face with uh, snow drift, uh, uh, snow accumulation, uh, snow condition over the mountain, and, and they can report. Uh, uh, fresh information for the authority that uh, uh, is going to establish the avalanche risk. In fact, the professionals are always on the snow, visiting also mostly uh, in accessible places, and they are ready for a uh, coordinated, meaningful response. And uh, another key point is that. Uh, um, at the moment, uh, uh, around the world, the, 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 the avalanche risk is issued at, at uh, a large region. It is not localized. You, 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 you cannot have uh, an avalanche risk for a specific point. You, you have avalanche risk for large region, like a province, uh, mostly, or uh, a, a, a neighborhood about uh, uh, municipality. But uh, you cannot have uh, avalanche risk for a specific uh, for a specific route. So uh, th this is a key point because uh, uh, getting uh, snow condition uh, from the wilderness. Uh, may affect the avalanche danger locally. So you can have uh, the possibility, the, the authority can have the possibility to issue a, a more detailed uh, avalanche risk. And, and, and also uh, another capabilities about UCID is, uh, is uh, um, uh, the possibility to uh, to send real-time alerts about uh, uh, information that has been reported in the system. And uh, another, uh, another aspect about uh, GeoAvalanche is uh, that uh, uh, all, all the information is uh, uh, released under an open data license under a uh, Creative Commons non-commercial license. So every everyone could could, could can use uh, can use those data for non-commercial purpose. And, and, and therefore open data open data is a recipe for sharing knowledge. Right? 
this is the the the, the, um, the main workflow that uh, we 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 taught. Uh, we have uh, uh, a collection of information from uh, uh, different channels, uh, email, Twitter, with specific hashtag, and uh, OpenGeo SMS. That is a powerful a powerful way to send information uh, through an SMS with uh, geo, geo special uh, uh, information, so latitude and longitude, uh, when the internet connection is down. So it, this is uh, really powerful over the mountain. And uh, uh, in our uh, the, the, our idea is uh, that uh, each country could use those model that model sorry so each country could have uh, professional groups over the mountain uh, that send that are sending information over uh, uh, SMS uh, Twitter or even at, at, uh, at the end of their daily, uh, uh, their daily work, uh, reporting and uh, uh, filling a form over the web about what they, 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 they saw during the day. Uh, and uh, those information uh, can, can be divided uh, from from the professional groups and uh, normal uh, normal users, so uh, ski tourers uh, and, and other uh, other uh, users that uh, 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 is uh, is going to the, to the mountain, and um, so uh, and, and th those data can can be used by avalanche warning service. That is the authority that uh, manage with air avalanche data in each country. Uh, so, uh, avalanche warning service uh, could, could, could use uh, the the, for, the first response team. Uh, so, the first response team uh, would be uh, would be uh, professional groups like. Uh, here in Italy, uh, there are a lot, no? Uh, mountain guides, uh, um, Italian ser avalanche service, uh, and also uh, patrollers, uh, so forest patrollers. Uh, there are a lot, and and then they they can have uh, a second uh, level quality uh, support team that uh, instead. Uh, uh, is going to mm, to uh, verify those those data coming from normal user, and that they can also use the first response team to verify uh, those information from no normal users, because uh, that they are, as we say before, they are on the snow, they are in the field. Uh, they, they can receive uh, SMS and uh, uh, through the, those SMS they can they, the, the authority can ask to verify some, some information that uh, a normal user uh, normal user have reported. And so we, 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 we can have uh, we can have the different scenario. Um, we can have a wrong, wrong geolocalization, we can have a wrong uh, categorization of uh, uh, information. But uh, the most important thing is that uh, we, we have the possibility to establish and in, in somehow, somehow to establish the, 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 the local risk, the local avalanche risk at a fine gradient uh, level.
because we, we have uh, information, a lot of information uh, in, uh, in, in a point, in a, in a latitude and longitude. So this is, this is really, really actually important. And, and also, we, we, another important thing is that uh, uh, Geo, Geo Avalanche, uh, I will show uh, later on, uh, will collect uh, uh, different kinds of, of information, but uh, uh, the, the, the main categories are avalanche incident, snow condition, snow depth, and, uh, and um, uh, spontaneous avalanche. And uh, uh, information about uh, uh, incident uh, could, could be could be used uh, also later uh, uh, to 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 perform uh, analysis and that mining about uh, uh, history about uh, uh, history over specific area. So. <coughs> As stated, uh, the, 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 the main categories uh, uh, we have uh, uh, some, sometimes have uh, subcategories. Uh, this is a, this is a characteristic of shade. You can define uh, main categories about uh, uh, reports and also subcategories. In our use case, in GeoAvalanche, we have defined uh, uh, this uh, avalanche, th these uh, uh, main categories. So, uh, avalanche incidents, no conditions, no depths, a spontaneous avalanche. And uh, under avalanche incidents, we have, uh, uh, we have uh, the, the, the five levels about uh, Avalanche risk. This is a standard. The the the, the, the classes uh, from low to very high is a standard over over uh, over the world. Is a worldwide standard about avalanche risk. So if you are if you are uh, a skier and uh, you are going to uh, Europe or uh, elsewhere. You, you, you have the, the same uh, the same uh, uh, classes classes about avalanche risk, and so uh, it, it is uh, really important to uh, divide uh, incidents that uh, has been uh, incidents that have been reported in the avalanche risk that uh, uh, was emitted uh, the day when the incident happened. How, how, we, how can we report information? We can report information uh, uh, by submit uh, 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 to apps. So we have uh, uh, native apps for iOS and Android. Uh, the, the, those apps are obviously free and uh, also Ushaidi is uh, uh, an open source uh, software. Uh, Released under GPL, and uh, also you you can send you can send information uh, to the use of Open GeoSMS that uh, is able to to speak with Ushadi. Ushadi has a plugin uh, about the Open GeoSMS uh, and is able to to receive uh, that that. Uh, that uh, SMS. And also you can send uh, obviously uh, email to a specific address that uh, uh, in, uh, that uh, is configured uh, in, the, in the software in the, in the administration of eShady or also uh, capturing automatically uh, geotagged post on on tweet on Twitter, sorry. and we 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 
we are, we have defined the, a, a, a specific uh, uh, hashtag for uh, capturing information uh, over Twitter. Uh, why? Because uh, uh, s um, semantic information in Twitter is uh, is another uh, another uh, another problem. Because uh, uh, if uh, we 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 choose it, uh, uh, an hashtag, an obvious hashtag like uh, avalanche, we we uh, we will end up with a lot of data, a lot because. Uh, uh, the word avalanche could, could, could be used for uh, 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 for uh, for lots of, of, of sense, lots of meanings, uh, and so we we we, uh, we were was trying to uh, to filter out uh, something uh, more related to uh, avalanche incident, uh, and so we defined the, the hashtag uh, geoavalanche. Aval report and Aval event. Uh, at the moment, uh, the, the the application GeoAvalanche application is um, uh, is at uh, uh, incident.geoavalanche.org. Uh, I'll show you the site. That is. Site. And uh, you can see uh, on on this uh, deployment, we are using uh, OpenStreetMap under a CloudMate team. So uh, probably uh, yesterday, some, some someone no no no, but someone spoke about uh, uh, CloudMate that, that uh, are. Um, uh, are uh, uh, releasing uh, the OpenStreetMap uh, database and are uh, doing uh, something about taming of OpenStreetMap data. And we are using uh, one of the tame team. And also, um, uh, the, 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 the reports are clustered uh, by uh, name boring. So, you, um, uh, based on uh, a zoom level, you have uh, uh, dots clustered uh, together. So, if I move uh, zoom in, zoom out, uh, the cluster mechanism is changing. And I can browse the cluster and go into the specific uh, information under uh, those dots. And uh, this is uh, one of the last uh, uh, reports about uh, incidents. We have uh, an incident in uh, Lech, Austria. Uh, the, the, the incident. Uh, was reported uh, in uh, Austria and uh, Ishaidi is able to 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 face it with a lot of language. Uh, there, there are a lot of translation at the moment on our installation we have English, uh, French and Italian. And, uh, and you have uh, for avalanche uh, incident, uh, uh, we, we, you have uh, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of information. Uh, the the activity, the the peak where uh, those those people uh, uh, were going, uh, the region name, the the angle, uh, the slope angle where the incident happened. Uh, the aspect that uh, could, could be also unknown, uh, and uh, if they 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 were wearing uh, safety gear, so this is an, another important aspect because uh, uh, mo mostly uh, mostly if I 
I wear uh, safety uh, equipment, I have the possibility to uh, to being searched and to, and to being uh, rescued. Uh, that there are um, the, the 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 live uh, the live curve is uh, decreasing uh, uh, a lot in the, the, the first 15 minutes. So uh, the rescue uh, sh should be should be very 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 uh, quick because uh, otherwise uh, 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 you, you, you haven't any possibility to, to survive. And, uh, and also, uh, other important aspect is uh, if the, the skier is, uh, uh, is ascending or descending, uh, and also, obviously, we have a number of people uh, caught in the avalanche bullet and those uh, uh, those that uh, those killed by by the avalanche and uh, also uh, another point uh, is uh, the the length of avalanche and if the avalanche is uh, uh, is um, uh, from uh, uh, is, is uh, triggered uh, by humans or is natural? Uh, so this is uh, the, 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 uh, the, the the map of the incident uh, with the dots, specific dots, the, with the coordinate for uh, that uh, that incident. That. Uh, Upland when, when the, the, the avalanche risk was considerable. And, uh, and, and you don't think that uh, um, uh, those, those, um, those scale that I, I, I showed you before is, is linear. The, the, the considerable danger is a very high danger over the mountain. It's not. Uh, uh, it it, it looks like uh, uh, very close to uh, a moderate, uh, but uh, it, it's not linear. It's not linear. So uh, a considerable danger uh, means that uh, probably you you can go over the mountain for uh, for a trip, but you have to be under under. Uh, a 35 degree in slope because uh, otherwise you are you are a very high risk for avalanche and uh, obviously uh, in your shady you you can filter out uh, with this uh, widget uh, about uh, different categories so we can filter avalanche incident based on the uh, danger scale <coughs> choosing uh, uh, for example uh, uh, danger considerable and as uh, as before we we can uh, go on uh, under the specific information of the of the reports and uh, we can filter out uh, uh, spontaneous avalanche. Spontaneous avalanche uh, is uh, important because uh, when uh, in a place uh, happens a spontaneous avalanche, the avalanche risk is is high, is very high. So it's it's probably uh, is going to happen uh, other other more more avalanche neighborhood. And uh, most of them uh, should have uh, the, the 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 form for sub submit uh, for submit spontaneous avalanche is uh, 
you, you can uh, select uh, the, the specific uh, form type for, for uh, each category and uh, you can submit uh, uh, the title, the, the description, but uh, the, the very important information for spontaneous launch is the aspect, uh, the elevation, the, uh, the, avalanche, the, the, the avalanche path and uh, the, the, uh, a photo, a picture of, of the spontaneous avalanche because uh, uh, authority uh, who, who are managing with uh, uh, the, the avalanche bulletin, so the avalanche risk uh, uh, emitted for uh, a specific day, uh, can, can, uh, uh, can, can, can do, uh, can do can do appropriate, appropriate uh, uh, analysis uh, also from uh, a picture. So it's, it's really important if you are going over the mountain so to submit uh, a photo picture about the spontaneous launch. That, that it's actually an information, a great information for authority. And also you can uh, submit information about uh, uh, snow condition. So uh, the, 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 um, the type of, of snow at the moment, because uh, it's uh, really important to distinguish between uh, wet, uh, dry and crust uh, snow. Uh, also, again, the aspect and the uh, elevation that that is an information that uh, we, we, we are <laughs> facing uh, in the, the form, uh, probably in, in each form, in each form of each category. The, if the, there is no drift, because if, if, uh, um, uh, if uh, the, the, the uh, there, there have been uh, snowfall re recently. Uh, the, the, there are a lot of possibility for uh, uh, snow accumulation and also uh, for a great, uh, uh, a night nice possibility for uh, uh, for an avalanche trigger. So snow, snow drift is another important param parameter uh, to, to establish the avalanche risk. And also uh, a snow drift is uh, consequently related to the wind activity. So if there, there is uh, a wind activity, uh, the, 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 the possibility that uh, there, there will be uh, a snow drift, uh, a snow accumulation is very high. Uh, and also establish uh, uh, the, the, the speed of, of wind. And if it's going to, to, to rain or also to, uh, to, to snowfall, is actually at the moment it, it is snowing. And for, for, for each uh, report, you can perform uh, uh, geocoding. So you can uh, uh, you can insert uh, a specific uh, location and uh, performing geo geolocalization about uh, places, or refine uh, those those. Uh, uh, geocoding ge ge uh, with, with your information. And uh, la last thing that I would uh, tell you is the possibility to uh, to uh, register for uh, notification. So you, you can you can choose uh, uh, places uh, over the mountain, perhaps where you are usually going, and uh, uh, and ch uh, by choosing uh, 
a, a range in uh, kilometers. You, you can receive uh, alerts at your email address about uh, the, those categories that uh, I, I spoke before. So this is another important feature about uh, UShady and uh, Geo, Geo Launch. Why don't you support um, the ability to put in a route and then get alerts along that route or within a certain distance from that route? Yeah, that, 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 that was a, a possibility, but uh, uh, Geo Avalanche is more related to support uh, the, um, uh, the authority. We, 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 are, we are going to support uh, 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 as as you, you said in the workflow before, uh, we, we want to support uh, um, uh, the authority rather than the uh, end users because the authority uh, could, uh, could, uh, could deal with the, uh, the avalanche risk and, and then uh, uh, make a more refined avalanche risk that the end user um, can, can, can know rather than uh, uh, support uh, the, the, the report uh, over a route. Or pop an area. Because That's another option. Uh, uh, our, yeah, our information is more related to specific point uh, uh, the, the avalanche risk could, 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 uh, could change uh, uh, during uh, a route. Yes, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Ushaini is able to, uh, to manage with routes because uh, if, you are, if you go to submit reports, well, the, the map uh, are using uh, open layers as a framework. Uh, and uh, you are able uh, to to draw uh, yeah yeah to draw line or that's for the yeah. yeah that's for the reports I was thinking the alerts yeah hmm. so this is the synopsis for uh, avalanche incident uh, where you can choose the categories, so for example, considerable, uh, the activity that uh, yeah. that uh, the, the, the people uh, uh, were performing when when the incident uh, happened, and also the other information that uh, I I I told you before. So, anything else you'd like to finish off, or is anyone got any questions? Yeah. So then we'll move on to the next topic. Yeah. Yeah, and question. Have, have you had any interaction with the Avalanche Research Center in Davos? Do you uh, know these people? Yeah, we, we, we met uh, them uh, in Anchorage uh, at uh, the last, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, this presentation is, uh, is from uh, the, uh, the International Science, Snow Science uh, Workshop in Anchorage uh, last, uh, uh, last, last September. And, uh, uh, well, every avalanche uh, warning services around the world are trying to, uh, to implement uh, uh, some, somehow the, this kind of mechanism. Uh, but uh, they, 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 they uh, actually at the moment they, they don't use uh, a, a powerful tool uh, like e uh, the, 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 the power uh, under, under, uh, behind e is, uh, in my opinion, is uh, the capability to, to manage the workflow. The workflow of uh, verification and validation of, of, of the, 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 the whole information, mm. and also the capability to uh, to interact with uh, different channels. So uh, it, it's uh, 
you, you can you can implement a mechanism to to collect uh, uh, data from Twitter, but uh, uh, Twitter is uh, just one channel. You can have uh, more than. Uh, okay, no, I agree. It sounds interesting. My suggestion is. If you know the people at Davos, try, yeah, to get, yeah, yeah. try to get them to become users and testers of your software, because they know they have a lot of influence and they have a lot of contacts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perhaps you can participate in another European project with them. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Get someone else to. That, that was uh, 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 an idea for, uh, for 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 <laughs> <Yeah. Okay. laughs> Because at the moment uh, we we have uh, founded uh, ourselves uh, the, the project, so yeah. Definitely an idea to to grow. <laughs> so, who, so who's this lady you were going to connect with in the UK? What's her name? Oh uh, well, I don't remember. Uh, in UK, there, there are uh, the, the, they they are mostly uh, in uh, uh, Scotland. Because uh, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the most uh, the most are, are in Scotland. Are they developers? Because uh, I think the UK developers are mostly in Kenya and in the US. Yeah, mm. yeah, a lot. There, there are also a lot of uh, iOS uh, application for uh, for browsing uh, uh, our data and also some 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 are, uh, something to to report, uh, to submit uh, fresh information of, of the winter. Uh, let, let, let me check if uh, this guy is online. Meanwhile, if you agree, I, I can tell you something about uh, the the data fusion server, uh, the data fusion server part of uh, GeoAvalanche. Uh, because uh, as uh, I I told, uh, another uh, another phase of the GeoAvalanche project is uh, the, the data fusion uh, uh, part. Uh, in that part, we, we, we have de developed uh, um, a geo uh, server extension uh, to manage with GML application, and in particular with Camel. Uh, Camel is an XML, uh, uh, <coughs> an XML uh, uh, language uh, developed uh, over GML 
to treat the snow avalanche information. Uh, at the moment, uh, uh, GeoAvalanche is able to manage out of the box uh, due uh, to the, the capability of uh, GeoServer uh, with uh, a variety of raster and vector data formats and is uh, uh, camel enabled. Um, uh, it, 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 uh, Inherits uh, uh, the, the, the entirely um, service oriented architecture of uh, GeoServer. And so it is able to publish maps, uh, data, observation, and also uh, processes over uh, the internet uh, by using uh, web service, and, and in particular, uh, those web services that. Uh, uh, that, 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 that are uh, consumable uh, under uh, the OGC standard, so WMS, WFS, uh, and WPS. And uh, uh, given the, the, the capability of GeoCell, uh, it can be easily uh, plugable into uh, an existing solution. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, as the ability to connect with uh, uh, the most of the uh, spatial databases that uh, you, you probably know, like uh, OGIS or Remote Special and uh, the special extension of uh, MySQL and uh, SQL Server. Uh, the, the, those capabilities. Uh, uh, are coming from uh, uh, GeoServer it, itself. So we, 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 we have developed just a, a, a plugin for manage with camel data uh, that is uh, related to the no avalanche issues. And uh, the, 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 this, this plugin in, in Released uh, uh, open source on, under the GPL v3 license, and uh, uh, and a, a first prototype has uh, as 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 been built to uh, to implement the the balloting profile of the European Avalanche Warning Services. So uh, this is. Uh, under the European uh, Avalanche Warning Services, uh, there is also Davos uh, that uh, you suggested, uh, and uh, th they are uh, they, they, they are uh, currently uh, uh, they are currently approaching for uh, um, a standard balloting over the Europe. Uh, Standard balloting that uh, is uh, uh, that is uh, uh, is structured uh, with camel. So the, the 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 idea is to to perform uh, to implement a mechanism uh, for everyone to to fetch that balloting in a standard way, like uh, a map or uh, a streaming of data. Uh, to uh, WFS, and uh, at the moment uh, we, we are uh, we are uh, uh, performing uh, uh, basic uh, requests for a ballot in, uh, under the usual as uh, unusual uh, request uh, uh, performed uh, uh, from uh, GeoServer that uh, is consuming a WFS uh, and uh, asking for a GET feature. So uh, we, we are trying to, uh, to ask uh, uh, a feature that is a bulletin defined uh, behind 
a GML application schema plugin and store it in a PostGIS databases. And uh, through the use of GeoServer, the, there is also uh, the, and the WFS uh, uh, service, uh, there is also the possibility to, uh, to get uh, uh, that kind of feature uh, in uh, GeoJSON that is uh, easily pluggable in a uh, uh, mapping framework like uh, OpenLayers and LayerFleet. And uh, this is pretty useful also for, uh, for smartphones. And uh, the, this is the, the architecture that uh, uh, the, the open architecture that uh, we, we, we told about uh, GR, uh, where uh, uh, Avalanche Warning Services uh, can replace their uh, legacies, legacy information system with an open architecture uh, that is able uh, to treat uh, uh, vector data, rest, uh, raster data, and to uh, push over the web uh, standard OGC standard web services, so uh, that they they can uh, uh, they, they can. Uh, Make uh, editing uh, with uh, uh, with uh, standalone uh, uh, software like uh, uh, Quantum Gs or uh, whatever uh, on uh, raster and vector data, and also kernel uh, data for uh, avalanche and push. Uh, over the internet uh, maps and data in a OGC compliant mechanism. So at the moment uh, the architecture uh, um, under Geo Avalanche is basically uh, uh, implemented by uh, an input data interface for uh, the, the standard uh, uh, behind the uh, geo server, so remote web feature service, remote web map services, uh, the geo avalanche JSON data, because uh, uh, probably I missed about UCID uh, this, uh, this feature. UCID um, as a, a, an API mechanism to fetch data from uh, the, the, the database. So we can retrieve uh, under GeoServer uh, those data from, uh, a JSON, from a JSON interface and push also those data uh, over over the web, over a map or a, a, a stream of data, and also uh, a local spatial database like uh, GIS or special or whatever, and uh, and the camel database under GIS, and uh, all those data. Uh, can be can be uh, exploited uh, uh, to to perform WMS WFS and the camel web feature service that uh, that allows uh, to, uh, to, sh to to share information uh, also uh, between avalanche warning services because two avalanche for example, two avalanche warning services um, uh, across uh, um, across a national boundary could uh, could could share those data. So uh, could uh, implement a map for the avalanche balloting uh, that uh, 
is able uh, between uh, two different countries. And so uh, our, uh, our idea is to uh, manage uh, the, the, these uh, kind of data under a GeoAvalanche server and to, uh, uh, to push uh, those data for a GeoAvalanche client or a mobile client or a third party system because uh, we, we, we we, we use a standard OGC standard mechanism that allows to, to, to push uh, data and maps uh, in a standard way. And uh, this is uh, really important for the avalanche use cases because uh, I, I, can, uh, uh, I can put together uh, observation collection, uh, feature collection, grid collection, and vector collection for the models, the, 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 the forecasting models, the alerting models, and the hazard zoning models that uh, uh, every day avalanche warning services are using. And uh, th this, this uh, kind of uh, uh, computation, this kind of calculation could be, could be done uh, with uh, a standard uh, web processing server. Can I just ask you a question about this, this part? This seems like a different use case yeah. to the other use case where you want to advise someone Give some quick information that there, there's a risk of an avalanche or that one has occurred, right? This this looks like it's more created for researchers or you know, for sort of slow studies of things. And the other one is a, sort of a quick message, right? Um, couldn't you do the quick messaging part a lot simpler? It seemed like it was a little bit over architected, lots of stuff. Yeah. Um, couldn't you just send someone an RSS message or a text message or something that had a link and someone could click on the link and get everything else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, uh, but, but uh, uh, probably uh, you are referring to OpenGeo SMS. The well, not necessarily. I mean, not not necessarily. Adam or, I mean, I think oftentimes this kind of looks like a European project and we've been involved in lots of these European projects. We invent geo things instead of using generic things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so we've had, Someone had to need an OGC to create all this, you know, geo RSS when RSS already exists. Uh, yeah. And geo this when the generic thing already exists. So I wonder if you're just going to send someone a simple message saying, you know, look out, something's going to happen. Click here on this link and we'll give you a quick map on Google or whatever. It seems like lots of this OGC stuff in the middle is over architected. Mm. Too yeah. much stuff. The, 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 Too much stuff for a simple for a simple task. Yeah, because uh, probably you, you, you are approaching, you, you are thinking about uh, uh, end user, the, the information for end user for uh, people that are going to the mountain. Uh, in fact, the, the, this kind of architecture is more related to avalanche and services for they. Um, their, uh, the, the assimilation of data and the treatment of those data to perform analysis and to perform uh, their use cases. Okay. So, so, again, that's a different use case, right? Yeah. yeah. We're analyzing possible well, well, when, when I speak about hazard zoning, yeah. is the hazard zoning that uh, uh, usually uh, each avalanche warning service performs uh, Daily to, to, to emit uh, uh, those information for uh, hazard zoning is most important for uh, the provider of communication, the provider of uh, 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 transportation, for example. 
Okay. So, so there are the two, two separate use cases. Yeah, but, but the, your use case is uh, yeah, definitely uh, interesting because uh, you, you can suggest uh, uh, s s some, something. So, for example, balloting or an avalanche risk, uh, just uh, putting over a phone uh, an SMS with uh, a link. Yeah. Definitely. Which is more common technology, you yeah. have to train people and how to do all and, this, uh, and, uh, you know, how to keep all these servers running yeah, and yeah, yeah. learn all the OTC stuff. And, and this is, this is uh, the use case of OpenGeo SMS. Yeah. The OpenGeo SMS, uh, if we are, I, I can suggest to, to have a look, uh, it, it's, uh, it's a, powerful, uh, uh, a powerful protocol to, to, to implement these use cases. And so at the end of at the end of the day, this is uh, uh, our proposal for uh, future spatial data infrastructure about uh, snow snow avalanche domain. So by by using uh, obviously geo avalanche server. Where we, we, we can manage with uh, uh, a different level, a, a, a different uh, uh, a regional, a national, or cross border. Uh, and probably this is uh, more, more oriented for, yeah, for a, a, a research project. But, uh, well, that that message would be interesting to the JRC people and to the Inspire people because they're always looking for concrete applications yeah, of and, and, and the infrastructure. In fact, in fact, so rather than calling it an infrastructure, I would say here's an application that uses the infrastructure and makes the infrastructure worthwhile. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because uh, Avalanche is under the 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 team uh, the team uh, hazard risk. Uh, anyway, under the the annex three. Yeah. Team, uh, sure. I, I, don't, I don't remember uh, very well the team, but uh, it, it's a team under the Amex 3 of its body. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, so that, that's all. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, I don't have uh, any things from the. the <laughs> Sorry. Maybe we would go uh, on in the, the next uh, oh. session. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like the first seven, but uh, if we can wait uh, a few minutes, uh, Alessandro. Yeah. Very interested about